All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So as I'm sure many of you already know, Global will be getting a brand new legendary campaign in just under a week on April 9th. And in today's video, I want to give you guys all the details for this upcoming LR Prime Battle First Form Cell legendary campaign so that you guys are fully prepared and ready to go once it officially begins. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And we're gonna start here with a quick reading of this little paragraph here. And it says, strengthen, sell, first form, and obtain awesome rewards, including 20 dragon stones. Legendary challenge campaign is on. Challenge the prime battle, looming menace to recruit mysterious cell or Mysterious Monster Cell, first form. Collect Awakening Medals to Token Awaken Cell, first form, into an LR. In addition, you can obtain awesome missions uh, or mission, mission rewards by raising his super attack level to level 20 and fully activating his hidden potential. Grab the chance to strengthen Cell first form and get a hold of his legendary power. So there you go guys, struggled a little bit to read that, my bad. But uh, honestly, a pretty standard uh, message for legendary campaigns. So nothing really new to see here. Now let's move on to the reward section for this campaign, which I'm sure is the main reason most of you guys are here. And as always, at least with these recent campaigns, if you guys were super diligent and you got the sell done before the campaign starts on April 9th, then you'll be getting a bonus of 10 Dragonstones, three Elder Kai's and two Reversal Medals, which is actually pretty freaking solid. And uh, if you're like me and you don't have him done yet, you don't have him at LR status yet, don't freak out because technically we still have a couple days to get him done, right? So today is April 4th. As I said, the campaign is starting on April 9th. So you have about four to five days from today to you know farm your remaining medals and awaken him and take advantage of these bonus rewards now i'll be honest for me personally it's just not worth my time it doesn't make sense because i only have about a hundred medals out of the 777 required so it's going to cost me more stones um than the 10 here to even do it right but for you out there if you're super close let's say you have like 700 medals, maybe 650, and you only need maybe 10 or so runs to get him done, then I think you should definitely do it. Just like take some time over the next couple of days and farm the events a little bit, get your medals, awaken cell, and get these rewards. And the great thing is that you don't have to fully finish him, right? You don't have to have him at rainbow status or SA20. You could literally be at SA1 and 0% in the hidden potential system and you'll still get the rewards as long as he is at LR status when the campaign starts. So those are the bonus rewards for the early birds but if you're like me and you're not going to have cell done before the campaign starts then we'll still be getting our standard 20 stones for awakening him during the campaign, our 7 kais for uh, getting him to super attack 20 and also all those tech orbs for rainbowing the cell is just not going to be as good as the early people who, who are going to be getting 30 stones, uh, 10 kais, and well, honestly the same amount of tech orbs, so that's not really different. But the extra stones and kais are definitely nice. If you guys can do it before the campaign starts, then I would definitely recommend you do. And now let's move on to some other stuff that's also coming with this campaign. And the first thing here is an announcement that the event will be available every single day during the campaign. That's the Prime Battle Cell event, which of course makes a lot of sense. And the required stamina for this event will be reduced by half. So if the uh, stage used to cost 25 stamina, now it's going to cost 12 stamina. So you'll be able to get a lot more runs out of your stamina bar, which is awesome. But the main thing that is going to make this uh, grind a lot easier now, a lot more efficient, just a lot less painful, is the introduction of a boost category for the event. So uh, the Android slash Cell Saga will now give you an increased drop rate for uh, medals as well as dupes for the cell if you bring units in that category. Of course, as always, you can only bring uh, farmable free-to-play units, so you can't bring like 
your int lr cell or anything like that but uh, the good thing is that they are going to make it super easy for us especially like newer players who don't have a lot of free to play units in the category by bringing back all the events that will give you free to play android slash cell saga units and i was surprised to see just how many uh, free to play units we had in the category. So the first one we have here is the Prime Battle Int uh, LR Super Saiyan Vegeta. Now, if you have like none of him done, like let's say you don't have any dupes, you don't have any medals, it might not be worth your time, or at least it might not make sense right now to grind him as well because that is two Prime Battle um you know grinds two 777 metal grinds you have to do at the same time which might just be too much i mean it's up to you i'm sure some people will do that and uh, some other ones here are the uh, i think this one's for the yard rat goku the int counter goku uh, this one is for the exchange vegeta and trunks uh, this event is for the exchange goku and gohan this event is for the future Android 17, future Android 18, um, future Gohan, as well as the future Trunks with the EZA. And of course, we get the Extreme Z areas back as well for the Exchange Goku and Gohan, and Vegeta and Trunks, and the Super Saiyan Trunks, and uh, some other things here. So, the Miracle Sword of Light uh, Super Saiyan future trunks the Okan event will be available every single day during the event and also the tech hidden potential event will be available daily as well so uh those are pretty much all the details for the prime battle cell event as you can see very similar in a lot of ways to other uh, legendary campaigns it's just uh, a few minor changes like the orbs this time are going to be tech orbs as opposed to str orbs for the last campaign and um the boost category of course is different from the last campaign but everything else pretty much stays the same we get some returning events with the units we could use for the um for the grind and uh that's it guys now one last thing i want to do before we end the video is uh show you guys the details for the cell himself so that you guys can decide whether or not it's worth your time or whether or not you actually want to grind for him now i think for the stones and the kais and the orbs alone it is worth it, but maybe some people need a little bit more extra convincing. So let's check out the cell now. All right, so his leader scale is artificial life forms, category key plus three, HP, attack, and defense plus 100%. His super attacks, uh, the 12 key is life absorption, causes colossal damage to enemy and recovers 15% HP. So he has the potential to be a very, very good healer for your team. And the 18 key is Zetsume, is it Zetsume? I'm not really sure if I pronounced that right, but Zetsume uh, Bullet, uh, and it causes Mega Colossal damage and lowers the attack and defense of the enemy. And his passive is attack and defense plus 20,000. Of course, all prime battle LRs, at least up to this point, have flat uh, boosts on their passive. And key plus one with each super attack performed up to six. And key uh, and when key is 18 or more, plus an additional attack plus 20,000. And if the target enemy is in attack down status, performs a critical hit. So essentially, if you're performing an 18 key super, then he gets 20... Uh, well, I mean, 40,000 attack and 20,000 defense. And uh, if the enemy is in attack down status, which uh, can happen if you use your 18 key super, then he performs a guaranteed critical the next time you launch a super or launch an attack, right? So um, he works very well with himself. He can heal with the 12 key. He can lower attack, which then will trigger um, these, this additional part of his passive with his 18 key. And uh, he's just overall a really, really good unit, guys. His animations are dope, too. I'm not going to show them in this video, but you guys can go check them out. They're out there somewhere. Uh, really, really good animations on this cell as well. And his links are Flea, which, quick side note, is one of the worst, uh, actually, no, the worst link in the entire game. It literally gives you key plus one when HP is 30% or below. So not only is it only one key it's also almost impossible to actually activate so i mean i don't think there's a worse one out there but uh, if you guys know one let me know in the comments but i think flea is like number one for sure for worst um worst link in the game we got flea we got messenger from the future big bad bosses attack of the clones shocking speed shattering the limit and legendary power 
And the categories are Androids, Transformation Boost, Time Travelers, Artificial Life Forms, Android slash Cell Saga, and Target Goku. And his max stats are okay. I mean, once again, he is free to play. 16,922 attack at rainbow status. Not the highest, but he does have really high HP. And of course, very good defense as well. 16,350. And uh, that is pretty much it, guys. That is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys learned something that you didn't know about the legendary campaign. Whoops about the legendary campaign for Cell. And yeah, once again, it's starting in just under a week on April 9th. Good luck to everybody on your grinds. I probably will be doing some streams this time around to finish the Cell since I didn't do it when he first came out. But I guess that's a good thing now because we actually have some extra content to put out because I was lazy in the past. So there you go. There's always a silver lining on everything. But uh <laughs> That's all I got to say guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.